YouTube, it's Tia and welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of the new year. Like this is my first time officially making a video in 2016 and so excited. Sorry that I didn't upload anything like this week, but uh it's exam week. Do you guys notice anything different about your girl? Mm-hmm. I got some new hair. Um, I decided to go a little bit lighter. It's not the first time I've been lighter but it definitely has been a long time since I've been lighter so I wanted to try something a little bit different um a lot of my friends over here can't believe that this is a wig you guys this is not my real hair this is a peruca and um yeah, so I thought it would be cool to do a video on how I installed it and what I do. It's a front laced wig with human hair that I got from evawigs.com. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing what I do to my hair and seeing a little bit, getting to see a little bit behind the scenes, or should I say under the wig cap, um, look at my hair, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, so this is my hair underneath the wig. Um, I naturally have a really big afro, so the only way for me to fit all of my hair underneath this wig is to braid it as you see here. The actual length of my hair right now is collarbone length, and if you guys want a video on what products I use in my hair, I finally found some available in Italy and am finally seeing some growth with my hair. So yeah, basically the first thing that I do is braid my hair and after I braid them into these cornrows that you see, I braid the cornrows into another braid in the back of my head just to get everything as flat and contained as possible. With this method, I don't need a wig cap. I don't use wig caps usually. Now let's take the lovely wig. I think I'm going to call her Natasha. I don't know. She seems like a Natasha to me. Anyways, this is her in her natural state. I washed the wig today. The wig comes with three clips on the inside and an adjustable strap in the back slash bottom. The knots did not um, come bleached or anything. And the part was alright, but I just wanted it to be even more visible. So I did pluck some hairs. What I do before applying the wig is I just make sure that my part is really uh, fresh and parted. You can use some edge control to make your part even more obvious. I already did that today, so I'm going to skip that step. What you basically do after that is you're going to line up the part in the wig with the part on your head, and you're going to adjust the wig and like fasten it to your head using the little combs on the inside. I pull my wig a little bit back so that my real hairline is kind of showing. I just think it looks a little bit more realistic, but just make sure that the part is aligned. That is basically how you apply this wig and you could even just leave it like this, but I haven't styled this wig yet, so I'm going to show you guys how it looks straightened and I'm going to cut some layers into it. The wig actually did come straightened, but when I washed it, this was the pattern, so I'm assuming this is the natural curl pattern. I like it, but just to see how it look, how it straightens after reverting, I'm going to do that for you. And I'm going to cut the layers because I feel like it just adds more depth to the hairstyle. When I actually go to add layers to the hair, I just take a little section in the front and I cut diagonally down, giving the illusion of shorter hair in the front of my head and longer hair in the back. And I do it a couple more times until I'm satisfied. It's really random. For me, the left side is always way easier to do, so when I get to the right side, I kind of twist the hair a little bit and then I cut in the exact same direction that I cut on the left hand side. Then it ends up coming out symmetrical. And yeah, that's basically it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this new hairstyle? Um, I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Damn, that teeth look white!